In this tutorial, I'm going to be taking a viewer request and showing you how to add Flash components that you may have made in uh, Flash CS2, 3, 4, uh, any of the Flash programs, and uh, put them into your website. And so I'm going to be using Dreamweaver today. And I have created a little website here. Um, it just consists of four rows and some columns. And I have a little header and footer. But mainly what we're going to need to do, uh, or what I'm going to use, is, are these two main rows here. This is one I'm going to use for a menu, and this one I'm going to put the image gallery that we created in the last um, tutorial in there. Um, so Dreamweaver makes it really easy for us to add in uh, Flash components. Um, you can just come up here to this tab that says Common. You can see a bunch of tabs here, Layout, Forms, Data. Um, but this one that says common, uh, you're going to come to the little paper that is red and has a little F on it and just click on that. And you see that you have flash, flash button, flash text, uh, flash paper, flash video. So what we're going to do is just click on this top one that just says flash. And it's going to bring up a little box to select a file. And what you're going to want to do is find your uh, flash file that you have created. Um, make sure that you pick the SWF file, not the uh, FLA file. Uh, the FLA is the editable version, and the SWF is the one that you're going to use for uh, your web design. So I have the image gallery right here, and I'm just going to click click on that and then click OK. And it just brings up a box that you can add a uh, title in. I'm just going to call it Image Gallery. That's simple. Uh, I'll just click OK. And you can see it puts it right here. Um, it puts it in as a boring gray box here. Um, and I put it in the wrong one, so I'm just going to drag this down to the middle one. We don't want it to be in the menu spot. Okay, so anyway, it puts it in as a gray box, but that's, uh, it's still here. All your stuff is still here. This is the image gallery. Um, it just puts it like that so that it saves uh, memory on your computer. Um, so what you can do now that it's in here, you can put it wherever you want on your actual website. I'm just going to center it, so I'm just going to highlight it and just click center and it made a little div tag here um, so now you when you actually click on the file or when you click on the component um, it brings up some different properties down here from like the original properties um, you can see that you can choose to loop it uh, have it autoplay when you uh, go to the page um, you can actually click here and it pulls up flash and you can edit it um, if you click here you can actually display it in flash or I mean in Dreamweaver, you can actually see your file. And you can see here the little image gallery that we made. Um, and then another cool thing that you can do is actually change the background of your flash file. Um, as you can see here, it's black. Um, and you can tell from uh, the other tutorial, we created it with a black background. Um, but we can actually change that by clicking this little uh, BG tab here. And it's going to be off screen, but I'm just going to choose a, a white color. And it just puts it back to gray. But if I click play, you can see that it changed it to white. So that's a pretty nice feature uh, that you don't actually have to go back into Flash and edit it and export it and re-put it into your website. You can actually change the background right here to fit what you want for your site. So I just changed it back to black. Um, another cool thing you can do is uh, change the height and width. And it actually uh, doesn't skew it. Like if you were to take and make this, say it was 600, let's make it 700, and then let's make this one uh, 500. And just click off of that, and you can see that it made the image gallery bigger, and it didn't actually uh, mess it up. Like it still kept its same uh, properties and constraints and it, it actually made this image bigger but it didn't ruin the uh, image by skewing it so that it's all weird um, but yeah you can see it still works and because the images are uh, good quality they are still intact um, so that's what you can do with that and uh, you can actually add it with code too if you uh, don't have Dreamweaver you can see in the split code version here you can see that it has the uh, object ID and then it uh, references that it's a movie and the quality and the name and where you get it from and all that stuff um, 
if you're watching it in HD, you can check that out if you don't have Dreamweaver. Um, but for all those, for all of you that do, it's really easy to add stuff in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add in my uh, menu here, and I have left a space far right here. And then I'm just going to go up here to Flash, and then it's actually in here. So I'm just going to add that in. And I don't really need a title. You can click it without having a title in here. And now you can see that I also have this menu here that I created in Flash for uh, my website. And so that's uh, basically how that works. Um, if you want to preview it in the browser, you just save it first. I already have a file, so I don't need to save as. Um, just go to File, Preview, and Browser, or you can hit F12. Um, I'm just going to use Internet Explorer. And if you wait a second here, it'll pull it up. And I'm just going to allow this block content. It just does that whenever you have it for uh, whenever it's not actually on a server. And here you can see that the Flash uh, documents have come out. And everything seems to be working okay. So that's basically how you're going to add a uh, Flash component into your website using Dreamweaver. And uh, make sure you subscribe, rate, and comment. And I'll see you next week. Thanks.